हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार राजकृष्णा दिस साइड एंड लेट्स सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विद कांस्टेंट कोफिशिएंट एज यू कैन सी इन दिस प्रॉब्लम द आरएचएस इज जीरो सो वी डोंट नीड टू कैलकुलेट फॉर योर पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल दैट विल बी जीरो सो द मेन फोकस विल नाउ बी ऑन द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन For that we need the roots of the auxiliary equation. So let's first write the auxiliary equation. So auxiliary equation in this case will be just replace this d by m. So you'll get m power four and equate it to zero. Fine. Now let's move ahead. Uh, what we can do from here is we might factorize, but if it is not easy to factorize, then let's go uh, for some other method so that we can find the roots. So one such method is first root you have to always find by heat and trial. So you. Don't have any other option. So first root, let's find that by heat and trial. Check for one. So if I put one, so I'm just doing heat and trial. So if I put one, so it will be something like this. So it is eight plus one nine. Minus five, not working. This is not equal to zero. This I have checked for one. Let's check for minus one then. So this will be one plus two minus three minus four plus four minus four plus four getting cancelled. Three minus three. Yes, this is equal to zero. So I have got my first root, which is minus one. So write that minus one, and let's use the synthetic division method. So first, write the coefficient. So coefficient of m power four is one. Coefficient of m power three is minus two. Coefficient of m power two is minus three. Coefficient of m power one is four, and the constant term is four. Fine. Now write zero below the first one, and now add. So you will get one. Multiply this one with this minus one, so you are getting minus one. Write that minus one here. Again, add. So you will get minus three. Again, multiply this minus three with that minus one. You are getting three. Write that here. Add. You are getting zero. Multiply this zero with minus one. You are getting zero. Add. You are getting four minus four when multiplied with minus one. So you are getting minus four. Write that. Now, this shows that uh, although uh, the first root in this synthetic division you can also find this way. Start putting values here. The last one comes out to be zero. That is your root. But for the uh, for our simplification, we put the first root by heat and trial. Now this last zero shows that yes, minus one is your root. And now. From power four, we have now reduced to power three. So now, if you want to write, so you can write one multiplied by m cube. This multiplied by m square, then multiplied by m, and multiplied by this is the constant term, so four. Now again, you have to do hit and trial for the next root. So. We uh, we will not uh, think of uh, minus one now, or we should. Let's uh, check for this. So one minus one 
2 minus 2 are the first thing so 1 because this is a different equation from the original one so if you check for 1 so you are getting 1 minus 3 plus 4 so you are getting 5 minus 3 this is 2 not equal to 0 so 1 is obviously not there check for minus 1 so minus 1 and minus 3 plus 4 so 4 minus 4 yes so another root you are getting as minus 1 so write that minus 1 here and again write the coefficients so coefficients are 1 minus 3 don't miss the coefficient of m which is 0 in this case and then the coefficient a constant again write 0 add multiply by that minus 1 you are getting minus 1 again add multiply you are getting 4 add multiply you are getting minus 4 and finally you are getting 0 now we have reduced to quadratic and that quadratic is m square minus 4 m plus 4 equals to 0 now this uh, never always not always be so blind that you can't see the roots just by one go but because this is nothing but m minus 2 whole square isn't it so you can have m write this as m minus 2 m minus 2 equals to 0 so you are getting two roots from here okay both of them equals to 2 so i have got my roots the first two were minus 1 of course and the other two are so they are repeating in pairs so m1 was minus 1 your m2 was also minus 1 your m3 is 2 and your m4 is also 2 so when roots repeat how we write our complementary function we write something like this c1 because two of them are repeating so with the second constant we will write add up x if minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 would have been there we would have written c1 plus c2x plus c3x square but third is not repeating so and with that e power what is repeating minus 1 so e power mx m is that repeating thing so minus 1 into x so this is what we are getting and same we'll do for the other one now we have already used c1 c2 so c3 plus c4 x e power 2 x this is what your complementary function is pi in this case is 0 and because we know that your y is nothing but cf plus pi so your y is going to become c1 plus c2x e power minus x plus c3 plus c4x e power 2x. This is going to be your solution. Again lot of thing to learn from this. If uh, the equation which is there auxiliary equation comes of higher powers how to find the roots in that case that we learnt this synthetic division method is very helpful in that case and how to find the uh, complementary function in case roots are repeated so with first you will write c1 with the second constant you will multiply x and then bracket whatever is repeating with write in the power e power mx okay so i hope you understood this uh, thanks again have a nice day